Joined as always by my friends Allison, Chris. You can find us at Binary Jazz at us. The way this whole shindig works, Allison brings the topic. We discuss it without knowing what the topic is until the end of the show, and then we are embarrassed to find out that we were wrong. Actually, I don't think there's any. Not embarrassed. We're just wrong, and yeah. we perhaps learn something. It's like Sesame Street for older people. Brought to you by the letter B. Or binary. This episode. Uh, this episode <laughs> is. One one zero one zero one one. It's um, it's a palindrome. Is that the right? Was that the right word? Words. I think so. Both ways. Why? Yeah. But it seems like a really bad way to like palindrome should be a palindrome itself. Self. It's it's shelf. It's shelf. <laughs> it's shelf. Should it, it should. not? It should. It's shelf. Why is it not? You mean the word palindrome should be a palindrome? Yes. That would be. Are you just going to put it back to back? Um, yeah, thank you for doing the work for me. I can't do it in my head. <laughs> Palindrome is Doesn't really roll off the tongue very well, does it? <laughs> like race car. Although that would not be the right thing to call it. It'd be a little confusing. This is episode number race car. <laughs> I don't know what you count in. Oh, but yes. I use base. I don't know what base that would Types be. Types of cars. Base car. Yeah. Base yeah. car. Base transportation. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Race car, choo choo train, gondola. <laughs> but how? what's the hierarchy? I mean, there needs to be a, a, a system of, of assigning a greater or lesser value to certain certain things. I just shouldn't have doing the math on it. Yeah. Gondola's first, roller skates are second. <laughs> Wait a second. Canoe Gondola plus roller skate terms. equals canoe. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's where we both ended up for three. With canoe. <laughs> I'm like, water. Was Obviously. Yeah. That's all I bring to the table ranking systems. <laughs> I'm confused. I like it. I think it's useful. I, I feel like moose that would be. Is fourth. <laughs> moose? Moose. Yeah, like traveling by moose. Right, but that's only how they count in Canada, Chris. It's like in metric Florida versus, to take, in, yeah, versus it's just imperial. the accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Florida, it would be alligator. In the rest of the country, it would be like <laughs> raccoon. <laughs> that's all. If you go further and far enough north, then it would be reindeer. Yeah, eventually it becomes just like a, a fish if you go far enough south. Where does the Where is Zamboni on this... Uh... In this numer numeral system, about twelve. <laughs> I, I never, like to... I never showed you. I, I've never showed you all. I have a new. I, my, I got my toy. Uh, this oh. is a toy that I kickstarted a long time ago. Um, it, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, you can hit it, you can shake it. Um, shaking only works for certain things. Like if I do- probably, That would be so addictive. Probably drum. No, but if I do, there's something, there's like a shaker. What, what is that thing called? It is uh, an Orba, an Orba oh. by Artifone. And it's got drum, and it's got uh, bass, and it's got a chord, and it's got a lead. So basically, you're the guy that we want on road trips. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> um, I'm imagining Chris like muted on calls, like just fiddling with it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then you can, asks a question, you can record you stuff. Unmute. You can record steps to the Orba, and so you can have like an actual thing playing. Um, I don't know. If can I you have... record and then play with it? 
Yeah, yeah. So you can. So when you record, um, you can record one one part for each of the channels, um, mm. and then you can save it. There's an app. There's a there's a desktop app and a phone app. Um, what about app? Yes, and you can uh, save your songs, your compositions to that. It's MIDI compatible, although I haven't I haven't played with that. Um, and there are like additional patches that you can download uh, through the app. So if you don't like the sounds that you have, like those aren't the stock sounds, those are other sounds that I got um, that I was playing with. Um, so- can you, um, can you drop your own samples in too? You cannot drop your own samples in as far as I know yet. Um, it might be something that they end up doing in the future because I don't imagine that it would be that hard. Have you all uh, seen Vibecat on YouTube? Of course you have. I don't no. know. Maybe I have, but I don't know this by name. <laughs> Vibe cat. Well, yeah. Let me get a link because this is going to be important. Not, I mean, it's not going to be important for the purposes. It's going to be important for the show notes. It's going to be important. Well, it's going to be important for everything you do for the rest of your lives. I'm trying to position myself out of the sunset. <laughs> I, uh, I've been doing this thing where I have been treating it like Rickroll at work. And um, yesterday, someone invited me to a meeting. And uh, it, there wasn't actually a meeting. It was a Zoom link. But it was actually linking to this. And it it made me pretty dang happy. So vibe cat. Cat dancing reckon. on drum machine. OK, cool, 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 cool. That should just be our subject for today. Forget yes, my topic. It should, it should be. Um, <clears throat> our, our kitten has, our, our new kitten, we got a new kitten a few weeks ago. Our new kitten has uh, played on the piano a couple times. Not oh, uh, intentionally. Dang, I need a piano. I have some not, piano. So no virtuoso <laughs> nah, nah, symphonies. Like, blink, 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 blink. <laughs> uh, what is the topic today? OK. Uh, the topic today is virtuoso cats. Yes. <laughs> is um, I lost it. It's on my paper. Just one moment. <laughs> I thought it cleaned my desk. Oh, embouchure. Embouchure. Spell embouchure. It is the way you shape your mouth for playing wind instruments. That's what I was gonna say. Is that is that is yeah. Darn. Yeah. <laughs> That, that was that was it. Okay. Uh, I think it only applies to brass or does it apply to wind, woodwind as well? It, it applies to woodwind as well. Woodwind. Yeah. Okay. yeah, it's it's different. It's different. Your armature is different uh, for woodwind instruments than it would be obviously for brass because, but it's, yeah. Um, but yeah, there's definitely a thing that you do. I, uh, um, I, I was a French horn player in a past life. Sure. See, my Robin and I were discussing. He was like, "Pretty sure one of them will get this," and I was just like, mm. "I was like, I think Gary collects string instruments, though, and like, <laughs> I'm yeah, banking played, on that." <laughs> played trumpet. My embouchure doesn't matter so much when I play string instruments. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I. Uh, but that's why. That's exactly why I was like, I think he's musical. I think they're musical, but in completely different ways. <laughs> Yeah, it's a fair, yeah, well, it's a fair I, guess. I, I played saxophone. I played alto oh, sax. Saxophone. I knew I forgot something. Oh, yeah, well. I played alto sax and I played uh, I, I played a little bit of tenor, and I tried playing uh, Barry once. There was a baritone sax mm -hmm. in the music room, and I tried playing it, and I failed because mm -hmm. of my embouchure. I'm I'm embouchure. Embouchure. Just trying to make it fancy. <laughs> uh -huh. I. I I struggled with like the lower instruments, like tuba. Yeah, it's hard. Trombone. You need to, I don't even know what you need to do. To I don't have enough that. air. There's not enough Gary to fill them up. <laughs> but tenor, tenor is fun. But yeah. My French horn, let me talk about my French horn teacher in college because for a brief moment, that was a major. Oh. He, uh, he learned to play French horn to avoid, um, oh no, because he was hoping that when he was drafted for Vietnam, he could avoid going overseas by playing in the band. And hmm. so that worked for him and he didn't particularly enjoy it, but that was his job. And so <laughs> it was just miserable taking and, lessons from the guy. And now, was, and now he is a teacher. 
<laughs> teaching this instrument that he didn't really want to play in the first place, but did so that he could avoid fighting in the war. Yeah. Sounds and, like an, a very excellent uh, decision. Um, I, well, I think that, I mean, I think that part of that too also meant that, you know, he like college wasn't a thing, you know? So I think that in his mind, like this was his, his path forward. And I, you know, I don't know how lucrative teaching at a college is, but I mean, that wasn't all he did there. So it was, a uh, yeah, it's just a thing. Um, anyway, I, uh, I, that really coincided with me, like not playing frequently. <laughs> the joy was not there. It was like, you know, jump through these hoops, do it this way, do it for two and a half hours a day. And, uh, right. That's not music at that point. There's the unspoken magic that it's not there. Whatever. Whatever. That's why I like vibe cat. Because I can relate to Vibe Cat. I can feel that. Oh, so it's just damn cute. <laughs> I think I might need to take Jude outside, so keep talking while I handle this. Or how about keep not talking? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's there's an empty chair. Well, uh, that well that's was, it. That's my topic. Yeah, that's it. That's the show. Okay. Thanks for t- thanks for tuning in. Uh I have uh, more topics, but it feels like a waste to try to pack more topics into one episode. Yeah, yeah. I just want to let you guys have your win. I'm pretty happy about it. <laughs> you seem ecstatic. <laughs> I, I, I think that's happened twice now where I'm like, I know what that is. Uh, we do have questions. We can get to, well, we have one and then we have a spam, which is always entertaining. Um. Maybe we did the spam. Did we do the spam? Do, 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 you need do. to give me more information. No, than that. no, we didn't. We didn't do the spam. I think I just read it um, because it links to uh, our nixtamalization episode, and I remember looking at it and being like, "What? What? Why is that relevant? To anything?" Um, but I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. Uh, Okay, we're going to just do this. Um, I'm going to look at this. What did we link to? Corn, corn, get down, make love, nihilist, Arby's, Twitter. Uh, <laughs> stuff. <laughs> oh, the, the Mormon. Chris is doing oh, poetry. Don't mind him. <laughs> I see. I, see. Um, I, I linked to information on how to register to vote because it was uh, near midterm elections. I see. Yeah. Uh, okay. So it's in rel- if it's, it's in reference to that link uh, that we have this uh, particular spam. Uh, let me get back into it, which is uh, Hannah. Hi there. Hannah from Comparatech. I noticed you shared the USA.gov guide on registering to vote, and I'd like to suggest something alongside this. For anyone registering to vote, they might find it useful to understand what happens to their data once they've registered. Our team of researchers examined voter data privacy in each state, analyzing voter registration legislation, voter list uh, request processes, and cybersecurity standards to determine which states have the best privacy protections for their voters. Here is the full study. If you think prospective voters will find this useful, perhaps you could add a link alongside the USA.gov guide here, please. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you in advance. P.S. Let me know if you'd rather not get in touch in the future. Hannah Bowen, Comparatech. Tech compared and reviewed. Comparatech is owned and operated by Comparatech Limited. Company number 09962280. Kings Lodge, London Road, Rest, Kingstown, Seven Folks, Kent, United Kingdom. They're I've got the, so many a phone number. They're in the question. UK, and they did give a phone number. They're in the UK. Yeah. Can we share that, please? <laughs> yes, it's a plus four four zero three 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 five seven seven zero one six three. Uh, they're in the UK, and they had a they have a thing about voting by state, like state voting protection stuff. That's weird. But also, like, weird? 
It's even not if, because it's very easy to get this data, apparently. Well, I mean, obviously. Like, what's the motivation? So you're, yeah, I give data. I give data to lots of things <laughs> by existing. <laughs> it's not going to stop me from voting. Um, okay, so I'm looking at- the, Or existing. I'm, I don't- <laughs> Okay, nabbit. so so Gary, Gary, uh, your state, your current state, North Carolina, is one of the lowest scores uh, due to anyone being able to access the voter in the voter database online without any authentication. North Carolina. Yeah, is that is this like golf where lower is better? No, lower is worse. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess better if you think that better is uh, you know having all of your data out there for people to get well i am an unaffiliated voter in this state so <laughs> nobody sought my information and contacted me uh Barbara Ronda was contacted by lots of people because the, she is an affiliated voter yeah. which doesn't make sense because i think if i follow what the media is saying swing voters are always the difference i would think unaffiliated would indicate that i'm swingable it would imply that know. uh virginia it's is not the accurate but it would imply that virginia is the best state in uh, the United States with a score of 37.5 out of 47. I thought you were 37.5 out of 100. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I thought when I saw, when I saw it first, but then it, yeah, it says there it's out of 47. Um, and uh, Utah, now my thing is, uh, Utah was, I don't know where they are in the rankings, but they're pretty good and California is pretty good. Um, where is Florida? Uh, I just closed it, so now it's I'm usually going to in the reopen. south, like yeah, underneath it, the other states. You know, the further <laughs> south you get in Florida, the further uh, wait, the further south yes. you, go, you go, the further north you get. It's, yes, uh, a wise man once uh, once said that, or a yeah. Floridian, uh, which you know, <laughs> <laughs> under the influence of Florida water, <laughs> under the influence of Florida, <laughs> driving under the influence of Florida. Okay, uh, Florida is, oh, Florida is bad. Florida, well, Florida isn't. I am shocked to hear that. Florida is not shocked. as bad as North Carolina, uh, but it is, it is not, it is middling, I would say. They, they have, hmm. they have it color coded. So they have like, you know, uh, darker red is bad and blue is good, um, which seems kind of, um, I don't know, that seems. Like the wrong scale. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If we're gonna use color scale, I, I get it from like an accessibility perspective. So but. so uh, so Florida is a little bit like pinkish, I guess. I guess a little bit orange. Yeah. Um, yeah. I will say that a hundred percent of times that I vote in North Carolina, my vote has been counted. It's probably about seventy percent in Florida. So, God bless you, or something. Yeah, that's the COVID cough. Oh, I think uh, I think one of my colleagues has it now as well. <sighs> so uh, we just got uh, there is a press conference. Well, I don't know. They do the press conference every day where they talk about the COVID numbers. And new cases today was like thirty eight or thirty eight hundred new cases today, or reported uh, in the last twenty four hours. Um, which doesn't seem like a lot when you're comparing it to like states that have like several thousand, but like our high a month ago was like 1500 and our high before that was like 500 or something, you know, like, Ugh. like, it's just, it's just like, you know, that, that belch, that chart is just like, it's, it's on the, like going it's straight up scale. Yeah. Like yesterday, no, yesterday no it was like literally yet like the last high, the most recent high was like 2,800. So now we're at 30. So like a thousand more cases than the last, than like oh. Friday. We're just, we're just Thanks. setting and breaking records every single day. It's fantastic. But we're, you know, we're not talking about COVID. This isn't a COVID show. It, do you, are there podcasts that started to talk about COVID? I bet there are. Uh, there yeah. Yeah. I imagine so. Yeah. I mean, when um, the blah, 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 um, one of the spinoff Critical Role podcasts um, is All Work, No Play, 
uh, which was actually started by two guys, two of the guys that are on the show. They actually had a podcast before they were on the show, I believe. Um, and they just sort of continued to doing it and then they affiliated it with Critical Role. But their last podcast season, I guess, which was like 10 episodes or something, um, was mostly a, around like just checking in with people and talking about COVID um, and how people are getting through it. Um, so I would say, yes, there are definitely shows that are about that. I mean, there's podcasts about anything, Gary. What, what do you, I mean, do you live under a rock? It's podcasts about living under a rock, probably. Oh, I can do that podcast. Yes. Um, distracted. UPS parked out front. And I'm waiting for something to happen. Could be a lunch break. Could be just a sandwich. <laughs> sandwich. Odd, odd choice. Oh. Maybe they'll leave it. Nothing happened. Yes. Or was there a surveillance team in the back and they were like, this is pretty boring. Let's move on. <laughs> like, gosh, people record podcasts about anything. <laughs> um, it's very true. Yeah, I guess that could be the case. I guess that could be the case. Surveillance. I think I would do something a little like less on brand than UPS, though. Maybe. I don't know. I guess we're so used to seeing UPS vehicles that whatever it's always the mailman or the taxi driver there's a really oh, our nice. mailman is so cute he um katie will play on the swings in the afternoon around two or three and he will always that's about when he delivers and so he'll wave and say hello and when he gets to the end of the street he parks and then walks the other side because the other side doesn't have boxes um so the other day katie and i were out for a walk and uh he was he happened to be you know a few streets up where we were walking and he drove past and then he said, hey, I'll see you later on to Katie. And I'm like, just adorable. Like they're, they're pals, you know, <laughs> which is seriously in this day and age. Like that's cool. I was going to say about surveillance vans, uh, you know, those um, those really big vans that they use that they use for like Amazon trucks and things like that. Um, those tall ones yeah yeah the tall ones uh, there there's like a cup some that are like mercedes-benz uh like company um well yep. there's one of those uh in our neighborhood that we pass by and so it's like and it's gray so it's not it's not amazon van it's not i don't know what it is but it's like a like plain gray tinted windows it's probably a surveillance van yeah it, is it close enough to be surveilling you or mm, no it's parked. It's always parked in front of a, a specific uh, house. <laughs> it's probably it's probably their van. It's probably not surveilling them. But if it was, Chris drives by and like them, some guy standing outside have a cigarette. Like, oh, opens the door and jumps back in. <laughs> like that was weird. It's not sketchy at all. Totally it, is, it is a very s sketchy uh, van, though. One time I saw a pizza truck deliver pizza there. I don't know. Probably nothing. Mm. I had, uh, it is the, oh, I think it's so funny that that has become a phrase that, I guess it's not funny. It's funny in a very dark sort of way that that's become a phrase that people use now very quickly, like in a, like a, oh, look at this hellscape we live in sort of way. Mm. Like that's what, the new normal. What What's the, what's the phrase? It's probably fine. Is that what we're saying? No, new normal. Oh, new, new normal. normal. Yeah. Yeah. Also, it's probably fine. <laughs> It's probably fine, I think, is, is, uh, is definitely something I say at work a lot. A lot. It's, it's, pro it's probably fine. It's probably fine. <laughs> Still in a lot of confidence. I'm, I'm sure that anybody cares. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Uh, we had 36 hours of rain here, mm -hmm. which is a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was actually flooding across the interstate here and rivers that have overflown and like six people have died in the state from floodwaters. Oh, and my lizard Florida brain, like whenever there was heavy rain and there were like flood warnings, like that meant, hey, if you live on the beach, like, you know, bring your sandals and shoes in from outside. There's going to be water against your sliding glass door. So like, you know, flood warnings in Florida, I guess there's probably some areas in Florida where flood warnings matter. But 
I mean, like it's going to like damage your house, but it's, you're going to see it coming. So get your expensive stuff out of the way. And that's, you know, whatever. So like for people to have like, you know, been swept away in water, I'm kind of, whoa, that's, that's something. Mm -hmm. Not something good either. It's interesting that the fir your first experience with flooding is in North Carolina and not in Florida where you are frequently affected by hurricanes. The thing you have to remember in Florida is it's flat. So like if you pour like a gallon of water on a table, like it's just going to go off. You flood yeah. the table, but it just goes to the side and falls off. Right. So it's just not going to come anywhere. Like definitely we had we had like some elevation change when I worked downtown. Like it was probably the entrance to the parking lot was probably three feet higher than the bottom of the parking lot. So I mean that was a big difference. Um, and so when it rained, like yeah, we would get water like up against the building, and water would like you know in the gully out back. That gully. Uh, what would you Alley. call it? No. Trench? Trench? Maybe? Trench. I don't know. Trench? Moat? It was moat? Yeah, in our, in our business moat out back where we kept business the alligators. Um, you know, if, that, if we got rain for a few days, that would fill up and then you'd have water like, you know, two or three inches in the warehouse. But that was, that was the kind of flooding we dealt with. It's like standing water two or three inches in, or at least I should say we, me, my limited experience. So. This morning we were supposed to have family photos taken and uh, contacted the photographer like, uh, hey, like this uh, flash flood warning, like, and it's pouring rain, maybe we could reschedule. Yeah, that makes sense. And apparently like the entrance to the park had water across the road. Hmm. We we're going to go to a park to shoot photos. I probably should have included that park. Uh, that park, park? <laughs> We, did we note at the beginning of this episode, I'm sure we did, that we were recording at a different time of day? No, we did not note that. We are recording at a different time of day. Uh, so we okay. usually record now that's on the first record. thing in the morning, uh, and now we're recording in the afternoon when, when we've all you know, had lunch and been working for most of the day or been on calls for most of the day, as the case may be. Uh, a, little bit, a little bit punch happy, punch drunk, slap happy. Punch drunk, slap happy, without words. <laughs> slap happy. <laughs> Slack Pappy. Slack Pappy. Slack Happy. Don't get Slack Happy with your <laughs> at channels. <laughs> uh, we have a question. We have an Allison question uh, that we can answer or we can attempt to answer. Probably answer it very badly. Uh, That's what I imagined. Yeah. We do. Uh, the question is might have already asked this. Um, so uh, no. that's a question that that's not been <laughs> asked previously. Yeah. Maybe? <laughs> Yeah. Previously, you've never asked if you've asked that question. So uh, there we go. That's that's the question. No, actually, uh, it's it continues. It, it it goes on from there. It says, but astrology. What mm. are your sun, moon, and rising sign? Uh, and I don't know <laughs> any of it, but I do know I am a Scorpio in the month that I was born. <laughs> Um, a good starting point. Yeah. So um, I feel like I'm sorry. I, I feel like I've I've always uh, been pretty stereotypical as far as that goes. Um, like all of the various descriptions of what Scorpios are like, and all the things that like like all the memes and stereotypes. I feel like I fall into most of those, and I don't know if how much of that is like a self fulfilling prophecy, and how much of that is just. Or like, if it's just like, hey, astrology, it's so super general. And so we make these archetypes that everybody can fit into. But if you apply it to yourself and you totally see yourself there because it's a thing. Um, classic Scorpio. Yeah, classic. <laughs> classic. I mean, I, I mean, study, I study these like, you know, I, when I was uh, doing a tarot thing and, and researching tarot stuff, like, I was like uh, Carl Jung did a lot of uh, research into archetypes and tarot as archetypes and things. I'm like, that's a thing that you do. That's a thing that your brain does. Like you, you have these generic things and you just put them out there and then you like, mm. like you say you are that thing and like, oh, I am that thing. Look, look at all these ways that I am that thing. Like, just, yeah. If I was told I was something else, I'd probably be those things too. Do you think that's the case though? Like, is that honestly? I don't know, maybe. It's a classic yeah. Scorpio response. <laughs> <laughs> Pro probably is, yeah. I told you I'm, I'm a pretty cancer. stereotypical. Yeah. 
I don't, I don't, I don't even know are. enough about the other signs to I don't know think how you're to very like, stereotype I mean, other, just... other signs. Other than Geminis are, are incapable of making decisions. Um, yeah. I'm not a Gemini. I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> yeah, I was like, are you taking offense at this? <laughs> um, I was going to say something about, oh, stereotypes. Yes. I don't think you are stereotypical. That's it. That's in, all I was going to say. In, in was general, deep... or in general, a, or like a as a stereotypical Scorpio. <laughs> oh, in general, I don't know oh. what a stereotypical Scorpio would be. No. Uh, my my exposure to astrology is, is rare entertainment, I guess. I was also born in the year of the horse, um, hmm, Chinese astrology, but I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was the rooster. Fairly certain I was a rooster. I would need to look at a place map and work backwards. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah. I, I feel like we should talk about food in this episode as we usually do. I, Why haven't we? Is, is there a reason? Like, is it the time of day? Have you already had lunch? Are you not thinking about food as much? Are you not in I'm... a room where you have a visual of like the bananas on the table or something? No, I usually, I'm usually- I love the vision of you yeah. trying to peek, trying to peek around the corner to see bananas. <laughs> Wait, are there bananas there? Uh, we just got some bananas yesterday. We had one that's like uh, on its way to becoming bread and then like a, a new bunch of them. Uh, but I was going to say that for lunch I had, um, we had, I don't know, I have no idea what was in this rice. We had this great yellow rice a couple nights ago. It was yellow rice and black beans and onions. And I'm thankful that I work remotely because the onions were very ripe or whatever onions get. They were ready to onion. Oof. Maybe that's why I'm not thinking about food. Because that's the word. Yes, potent. They were, they brought game. <laughs> um, yeah, and I, I don't know what's what's uh, happening later on for dinner. It's not far from now, and I'm looking forward to it. We're going cavern to caverns tomorrow. Ooh, that sounds fun. Yeah, I'm really stoked. It's about a two-hour drive, but I think it's going to be worth it. Sorry, is that or a restaurant or a town? I don't know. Uh, like actual caverns like we're oh actual caverns, caverns. Oh, okay I, yeah. that makes more sense yeah <laughs> yeah yeah I, I probably i probably that was probably a very abrupt uh transition from food i was still on the food train i was like oh it must yeah. be really important if they're driving so far <laughs> we're gonna go like up the hill up the mountain like that's that's always a fun day hopefully the weather holds hopefully it's not rainy up there hopefully the caverns are not flooded if it's With the rain. higher elevation, then it shouldn't be. It might be. Weird. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure how that all works. I just hope we don't have another 36 hours of rain. the The temperature uh, mm-hmm. was like holding, you know, in the 70s while it was raining, and now that it has stopped, it has dropped 10 degrees. Um, mm-hmm. Literally, while I've been in meetings this afternoon, I wish I had socks. I mean, I have socks. I wish I had socks on. <laughs> I feel like there's a way oh to make God. that dream a reality. <laughs> yeah, it, it probably is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when yeah. I took the dog for a walk, I put on my sandals and trumped the puddles. I got I got a notification on my phone that said it was going to be uh, 32 degrees or less today this afternoon. So. Ooh. Welcome to November. Crispy. Yeah. Yeah. No, it snowed. It snowed over the weekend. So yeah, it snowed. Mm-hmm. It snowed. Oh November right. Day. Fahrenheit. Okay, I'm on board. I was just like, that's super warm. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Zero. No, degrees. I'm on it. I just was like, I guess, Zero. like, beautiful day. Good luck. <laughs> like, Zero degrees. Chris, Chris, it's Zed, not zero. Sorry, Zed. <laughs> no, Zed. <laughs> Zed row? <laughs> yeah. Zed is Z. I know. I It cracked me up, though. M- maybe, maybe nil. <laughs> maybe we can say nil. Nil degrees. <laughs> I'm going to say Zed. I don't think that's a thing. 
I don't. Know. So, no, Allison, I, I meant it. to say, like, so, so you asked us about this, this, this horoscope thing, and obviously we failed miserably at answering the question. You didn't uh, bail because I'm going to drop some links and f- find out who's what. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. 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 See so how um, stereotypical so Chris really is. I was going to say because this obviously uh, came from somewhere, or maybe came from somewhere. <laughs> I, 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 I know that that is a thing that you are are pursuant in. Um, I don't know if that's the right phrasing, but I'm going to go with it. Fluent, uh, I believe, is what you're looking for. I don't know if I'm fluent, but I like I read a lot about it, I guess. But um, I am a double Capricorn. With Ooh, what does Aquari- that mean? <laughs> with an Aquarius, Aquarius ascendant it means my sun and moon are in Capricorn. So okay. it's a bit of a doozy, but not a shocker if you know me. <laughs> but I don't, but I don't said know what Capricorn Capricorn with a what? Oh. Pardon? What was the second part? Double Cap- Capricorn. Uh, my ascendant what? is Aquarius. So my so, rising sign is Aquarius. Could you say that you had an Aquarius kicker or no? Would that not be <laughs> Maybe, a yeah. I kind of like that. I like the way that rolls off the tongue. Double Capricorn with an Aquarius kicker. With an Aquarius kicker. <laughs> when yeah. we open our astrology themed bar, that's what we'll... <laughs> that could be a drink I, I can roll with that yeah it's like an extra and it would shot be a mix or something yeah, yeah. <laughs> i was gonna say it would be it's like green tea. it would be like blue curacao or something yeah oh look at you all fancy and then i would roll in and be like this place is fantastic can i get a beer <laughs> <laughs> typical cancer yeah <laughs> i might even have a beer tonight what kind beer <laughs> <laughs> yeah in a bottle or a can uh i have just canned beer right now that's how they tend to sell it at local in this area. thank you for listening to binary jazz if you like this episode you can subscribe to us on itunes or google play you can visit us online at binaryjazz.us or follow us on twitter at at binary jazz Don't forget that you can ask us a question through the forum on the website or on Twitter, and we'll read it aloud on the next episode of Binary Jazz.